As you, as you know, in order to lead in artificial intelligence, you need to have uh, AI model technology that uh, India has. You need to have data, massive quantities of data. And using a, uh, the last thing you need is uh, AI infrastructure. And uh, uh, we're, we're announcing that, that uh, Reliance and NVIDIA are partnering uh, to build AI infrastructure here in India. Absolutely. And, you know, uh, and then, and then, and then the, the thing that I will say is that in order ultimately to create that into a flywheel is one of the great advantages that India has, which is a very large population of users. And, and so now you, you have the fundamental ingredients, uh, AI data and AI infrastructure, uh, and you have a large population of users that ultimately creates your AI flywheel. The thing that, that I really love, and um, uh, when I met Modi ji, the first time he asked me to meet his cabinet uh, was to, this, this has got to be about six years ago, he asked me to address his cabinet about artificial intelligence. And I was so surprised it was the, literally the first time any government leader uh, any national leaders that asked me to address uh, his cabinet on um, uh, this particular topic. It was long before anybody was talking about artificial intelligence. And my last visit with him, he said, he said this, and it was really quite profound. He said, I, I was explaining to him uh, the concept of uh, AI infrastructure and why it's essential for every nation to have their own AI infrastructure, like their own communication, their internet infrastructure, their roads, uh, elect energy, of course, and of course, intelligence should be part of your infrastructure and the manufacturing of intelligence should be part of your infrastructure. And, and he said this, he said, he said, it makes completely, complete sense that India should manufacture its own AI, manufacture your own AI. You should not outsource, you should not export data to import intelligence that India should not export data to import intelligence. And he said... Absolutely. And, and Mo Modiji said, it's like India should not just export flour to import bread. We should add value to the data ourselves. And, and, uh, and the partnership uh, that we have is to start that journey to build the underlying infrastructure so that India could have your own infrastructure. You surely have your own computer science expertise. And you also have your data. You have a giant population of users uh, to, to drive that flywheel. And then one, one more comment. Uh, this is the thing that, that, that he, was, he was most inspired by uh, six years ago. He said, he said that artificial intelligence has the ability to elevate um, the entire population of India. And the reason for that, I was talking earlier to him about the fact that there are so few people in the world who knows how to program a computer. Programming is not easy. Uh, here uh, in India, it's the largest population of any pro of programmers in the world. However, still programming is not easy. Most people don't know how to program Python or C++ or you know, Pascal or Fortran but, or Java, but everyone knows how to program an intelligence. And so the ability to program computers is available to a small population, but the ability to program AI is something that everyone can do. And if, if AI could be put into the hands of every citizen, it would elevate and put into the hands of everyone this incredible capability you and I get the benefit from called computers. And this computer could now benefit everybody in society. And, and that, he, he explained that back to me. Yeah. Absolutely. And I think that that is why I started by saying that we are very fortunate to have a visionary leader yeah. who believes not only in vision but in execution. Yeah. And where I... <laughs> and you know, Jensen, where I see our partnership and uh, is really in a sense I was waiting for your GB 200s to mature 
because like you from first principles, I don't like uh, doing anything but the best technology. And now your GB200, right, is undoubtedly the best technology. Rakesh, I'm looking forward. All of my technology <laughs> is the best technology. <laughs> India, India, including the next one. India will start with what is the absolute best that you have, and I'm happy to, like, what we are doing at Jamnagar is we are now ready for big scale up. So we are building infrastructure, right? And we think big, so we're building infrastructure for one gigawatt, which can be expandable to multiple gigawatts at one location. We already have the green power so that we are not dependent on anybody else for power. We are building this so that we can scale this and as your multiple order of magnitude technologies come, we will build our infrastructure and uh, we will... One important piece that I believe is important is that for India and Indians, right, we have to repeat a geo for intelligence to be really affordable, available to the common people. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> towards that, it is important that we design and build infrastructure so that to use AI, our customers don't have to change a phone don't have to change their computers, but they can still get good quality AI, and we take the burden of putting that infrastructure together. Yeah. And I think that is what uh, we are counting on you and us to do. On top of that, right, I have, again, great respect for my friend Mark Zuckerberg, because by bringing open source, to the world of intelligence. He has given, you know, everybody yeah. the opportunity to participate in this revolution. Yeah, and Lama 3 has activated every single company, every single industry around the world. It's incredible. And what you have done with Lama 3 also, right? Thank you. Is, yeah. And all of us, we can build on top of that. And to my mind, this move of Mark will be written in the history, right? When we look at it 100 years from now, yeah. that open source, all the big things in the world have, a op have helped on open source. Li Linux was open source. Right. And I think that uh, at least cloud from an computing. India point of view, yeah, right, we can use Llama as a base model. It allows all of us mm -hmm. to develop on top of a state of the art uh, model and surely then we can fine-tune, train, retrain, do everything else. And I am sure that there is somebody in this audience who is very bright and very young and we will have, right, into the future, an Indian model, right, as you very rightly said, which might be 10x of Lama. And that will happen from India and I hope and pray that our young people will do that. But to start off with, Open source is great. That's right. On top of that, right, all your tools. So the foundry tools that we have, we are looking forward to a development center where we take mm -hmm. core of your tools and train hundreds of thousands of developers in India to use all the enterprise tools, to use the omniverse tools so that we can really apply intelligence in a practical way and to me, this is just the starting of this intelligence age. It's a multi-decadal B journey. Bakesh is talking like an engineer. <laughs> you guys, li listen, listen to him go. <laughs> He's starting to sound like a 28-year-old engineer. What do you guys think? <laughs> I like it. I like that's, it. And that's why, that's, like, awesome. that, that's what we're going to do together. That's, and, yeah, uh, that's true. I can, like, assure you Thank that you. Like, like we did in data in a few years from now, right? we will surprise the world with what India and Indians can achieve in the intelligence yeah. market. Thank you.